summer's back. Well, I've come out today to Derwent Water, uh, but unlike usual visits where we go on the eastern side of the lake, this time it's over on the western side. So we're getting some completely different views that we just swing you around. And we have a day of sunshine and showers, mainly showers up till this point, but the sky's clearing a bit, so really hopeful of getting something good. I'm trying to get a picture of this headland with a bit of sun on it and of course by the time I got my film loaded and my camera set up it's gone in behind the clouds and it's been like that for half an hour so I'm just crossing my fingers that it'll actually come out because uh, I'll end up packing my gear away and that will force the sun to come out. Right well the plan for today is to shoot round Derwent water as I said earlier. The conditions are absolutely beautiful because We've had a ton of sun lately and today it's gone all cloudy and rainy. Now you wouldn't think that would be particularly good but uh, for a landscape photographer the skies are far more interesting. So I'm out shooting today with the, the Bronica as usual but I'm actually shooting some Velvia slide film alongside some HP5 Plus black and white. And it's got a bit of variety, I brought my Holger as well, uh, the Plastic Fantastic. It creates very very moody and uh, dramatic images black and white film in there. Oh, a quick shout out as well. I'd just like to thank Nigel Young, who's very kindly sent me at no cost one of the film backs for my Bronica SQ. So uh, thanks, Nigel. It's uh, very kind of you to send me that. Uh, and if anybody else wants to donate unused camera equipment like Leicas and Hasselblads, uh, feel free to send them to me. We've come down to the end of the Borrowdale Valley now and we've come to an area um, I think it's called Sea Toller, uh, I'm not sure, I might correct that later. And as you can see it's raining and it's raining quite heavily but I did anticipate this so I've come prepared and I've got my golf brolly strapped to my tripod. Got the camera bag weighing it all down so uh, I can carry on shooting. Okay, the setup for this shot's quite straightforward. I've got my standard 80mm lens. I'm shooting Fuji Velvia because Velvia will bring out the lush vegetation and also there isn't too much dynamic range. Maybe a little bit excessive, but I can afford to lose some shadows. I focused in on the mosses and the branches on the opposite side because they're the focal point. That's the main point of interest. And I'm managing to get about one second to two seconds exposure at F16. Really not sure if it's going to turn out perfectly, but uh, being able to shoot and improvise like this is, is more than I could have hoped for, so I'm very pleased. Well, I've moved up the river slightly and I've taken another shot of a fallen tree across the river and again shooting with Velvia but also with HP5 Plus, doubling up because you never know, the Velvia shot may be a bit contrasty and the black and white shot will have a, a lot more detail at either end of the, the range there in the highlights and the shadows. Quite hopeful again, beautiful place to be and I'm out the wind which is very nice.
Well, a thoroughly enjoyable time there. Hour and a half maybe, sheltering under a brolly, getting some up. Interesting shots, hopefully. Uh, we are going to have a little bit of a break now, get something to eat. Uh, I'm going to take the steepest path up the hill here. So if I have an accident, that will make it into the final vlog. But uh, yeah, catch you again in a minute. Okay, well, it has turned out to be a bit of a washout today. We spent the last four or five hours either sat in the car or sat in a cafe, which is very nice. And I haven't shot anything since a couple of quick Holger pictures up at the Surprise View, which I may or may not have put into the vlog. So, with it at uh, seven o'clock of an evening, chucking it down, we're at uh, the top of Derwentwater, just off the jetties at Keswick. And I'm going to have a go at shooting some of the woodland area behind me primarily because it's sheltered from the rain and it does actually look quite nice I'm thinking velvia not black and white so I'm going to break out the camera and have a go at shooting right I am well and truly going above and beyond the call of duty to bring you this shot from under my umbrella because it's absolutely tipping it down again and I have waded through some very thick woods with all my gear to take this image whoa heavy rain you just pop out from under the brolly. To take this image you can see behind me of some, uh, some tree trunks looking very wet, like I am. And I've shot it with Fuji Velvia and I've taken three widely spaced exposures because I'm having trouble getting a right exposure reading. Um, it's very, very dark at the moment and I've had to sort of guesstimate it a little bit. So I am not that hopeful this will turn out well, but if it does, it could be very vibrant and lush, but uh, you've got to be in it to win it. Well, having said I was going to shoot colour, I actually came across a scene which is uh, only going to work in black and white. It's a lovely shot of a tunnel of light at the end of a gate where we walked in. And there's overarching trees creating a lovely effect which draws you down the path. And it is quite dark under here, so I've shot it at one second and two seconds at f16 with HP5+. Plus. It's one of those images I think will work when I've processed it in Lightroom. And it's, uh, it's really re-enthused me, and I want to go out and shoot other things now. So. Yeah, a bit of a lift after five or six hours of uh, looking at rain. Well, I'm afraid the weather has beaten me. I've had enough. There's no sign of it clearing. It's gonna rain for the next few hours and I don't wanna stand here getting wet, or wetter, should I say. Um, sadly, that is the end of the vlog. I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'd like to say I have, but I'm not too certain. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you again next time. Okay, I said it was all over. Uh, it's not all over because we're on our way back down, heading towards the Langdales, taking the scenic route, the sky started to break. So. We made a quick dash down to Elterwater and we got a view of the Langdales but also a view across the hills opposite and it's clearing all the time so we are going to break out the cameras and get cracking again. Okay I'm set up and I've put my short telephoto on 150mm set it to f16 and I'm shooting with Velvia the tree you can see behind me is the foreground very much the foreground and the wall is just outlining the bottom of the frame it's going to be quite subdued and low-key, but uh, I'm convinced it'll be very, very nice once processed. So as the last light settles over the Langdales, that's me signing off for the day. So I do hope you've enjoyed this somewhat challenging vlog and I'll see you again on the next trip. Thanks for watching.